Hi guys, I'm here today to show you what I take on the plane with me in my aeroplane bag. Now I struggled a bit with this thumbnail because I didn't know whether to call it aeroplane like I would call it. Like if I say, oh my god there's an aeroplane. It's like an aeroplane, but apparently it's spelled airplane, or it's spelled both ways, and I was so torn as to which way to spell it. But I went with the American way, just because, <laughs> I don't know. The bag that I'm gonna be taking with me is my Mulberry Cara bag. This is in the medium size, and it's absolutely gorgeous, as you can tell. I just got the black quilted leather one, and it's actually a rucksack on the back, which is super duper handy for airports, because obviously you're gonna have your case unless you don't take anything on holiday. <laughs> you're gonna have your case and you're gonna be carrying lots of things like passports and boarding passes and stuff. I just think it's so much easier to take a backpack. So this is the one that I'm gonna be taking. This bag is super secure as well because you can tie the handles at the top and when they're tied, you can't actually physically open this bag so nobody can get in it other than you if you want to. That does make it a little bit impractical for every day but I really like the extra security of it, especially because I live in London. So I'm going to show you everything that I take in here and I don't actually take a lot. I'm not one of them people who takes a lot on a plane. I used to but I just found that I didn't use it so my bag is only like half packed as you can see. There's still a lot of room left in there for snacks at the airport, you know. <laughs> so the first thing I've got in here is obviously my phone. I have a Lumi case on it, which is the rose gold one. It makes it huge, but it lights up for selfies <laughs> if you wanna take selfies. And it actually really does work as well. If you're in a dark room and you wanna take selfie, literally, you need one of these in your life. It's amazing, it just lights it all up. The next thing I'm gonna be taking is my vlog camera. This is the G7X by Canon. I normally use the G1X but it's a lot bigger like this is really small it's got a flip out screen the only problem with it is that it stops focusing properly I'd say if you're using it every day I'd say about the three month mark it stops focusing but it doesn't stop altogether like it still does you just have to keep tapping the screen on your face which is kind of annoying especially for the money but I think I will be doing a weekly vlog when I'm on holiday did I even tell you that I'm going on holiday <laughs> I'm going on holiday and I'll probably already be there when you're watching this video. I'm going on the 3rd of May for 10 days so I'll be back around the 13th but I'll be in Sheffield for a couple of days so I won't be back until like the 15th. Anyways regardless I'm taking my vlog camera. There will probably be a vlog or maybe two from my trip. I'm not sure yet. I really do want to take this time to chill out because I've been on YouTube for three years now and I've never had a proper break like from it. Every time I've gone away I've vlogged it like literally every trip that I've gone on I've vlogged every single day like Austria, Germany, New York. So I kind of wanted this holiday to chill the F out and relax. So that's what I'm gonna do but I think there will be a weekly vlog just because I really do enjoy vlogging. The next thing I'm taking are my headphones. These are little cat ones. Meow! Meow! And I'll link everything by the way in the down bar. I just like to take over the head headphones rather than the in-ear ones because I find that planes are really loud. I don't have the best hearing as it is so if I just have in-ear ones they're not loud enough for me so I like to take over the head ones. The next thing I'm taking is my card holder. I take this everywhere. It's from Aspinall of London and I'm taking this with some cash in the top for duty free at the airport in case there's anything that I want to buy. I don't actually have the currency for the country that I'm going to yet. I'm gonna get that someday soon. <laughs> I need to be quick. I take mints absolutely everywhere. I've got some extra strong mints and some Tic Tacs. I have a phobia of smelly breath, so I'm like the mint queen. I've always got them on me. I've also got a pen. This is a Swarovski crystal pen. How fancy. I always wanted one of these since I saw Katie Price with one when I was younger. I was like, oh my God, that is a pen of dreams. I aspired to have a pen. That is quite sad. But my mum got given this from her workmates when she left work and she kindly passed it on to me because this is so me. It's like diamantes. I'm all about it. <laughs> Just taking this in case I need to sign anything. I also am taking a hair clip 
This is just to take my hair out of my face, but I feel like with bobbles you always get a kink in your hair unless you use the kink free bobbles, which I don't have. So I'm taking a hair clip from the plane. I'm also taking my sunglasses, which are these Ray-Ban round ones, and they're in the shade Lilac. Now, these don't show up as amazing as they are in person on camera. I think it's my lights, it does weird things to them. But these are actually lilac, like a pinky lilac colour. They won't look it right now. They're so cool though, and I love the shape of them and I got these on ASOS I would totally recommend they fit your head so nicely I always think it's so nice to invest in sunglasses I've got some Mew Mew ones as well and them and the Ray-Bans just fit my head so much better than any cheaper ones I get so I'm going to be taking those now are you ready for the gadgets <laughs> the first gadget I've got is my Game Boy and I'm taking this in case I get bored on the plane my mind is one of those that needs to be like occupied all the time so that is why I'm taking my Game Boy but I'm also taking my Kindle I don't know which Kindle this is I got sent it I actually did a sponsored job for Kindle and I really enjoy it I've literally got about 10 books on here waiting for me to read and I thought holiday is the perfect time to read them so I'm taking that I'm also taking my iPad this is an iPad mini it's a silver one I also kindly got gifted this as well, which I'm so blooming grateful for. Anything I get sent, I'm so grateful for. Even if it's like a sweet, I savour that sweet. But I think I'm going to download a couple of shows on BBC iPlayer. Not necessarily for on the plane, but for at the airport and for the car journey to the plane and stuff. And the final gadget is my... MacBook. This is a MacBook Air, I'm pretty sure. It's the really, really tiny one. It's like so small and thin. It's so thin that it doesn't even have a USB port. Like you have to buy this thing separately to have a USB thing to put in it. So that's how I get files off my card. Like I have to plug this in, put the card reader in, then put my card in it, which I don't mind because this laptop is so handy to have, especially for trips away and stuff. It's just really good. And that is to edit any vlogs and stuff that I've got to do. Now we're on to little shrapnelly bits. The only makeup product I'm taking is my Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. This is what I use for my lip balm. Some people think I'm crazy because it's huge, but I go through one of these, I would say, every two or three months. I use it literally constantly. From the minute I wake up, I'm just putting this stuff on. It's the best lip balm ever, but it also works for dry skin. So if you've got any dry patches, you can just pop this on it. So nice. I'm taking a toothbrush and toothpaste as well for on the plane. As I've said, dental hygiene is my thing. I just can't stand the feeling of having like food on my teeth, so I will be taking this. I'm also obviously taking my passport. I'm gonna do a little cutaway of me in this. I look like a murderer. I don't know how anybody lets me in the country. I honestly just look like a murderer. But I wouldn't be able to get in a country if I didn't have my passport, so I'm making sure I take this. Don't forget it, Gabby. <laughs> and the very last thing in my bag is a Calvin Klein thong. I take spare pants absolutely everywhere like there is always a pair of spare pants in my bag every single bag that i take there's one in just in case mother nature ever decides to curse me i've got a spare pair of pants and i always carry a tampon as well so that's everything in this bag it's empty now this bag isn't that big but it's like a mary poppins bag like it fits a surprising amount of stuff in it's not even full with all of this stuff crammed in there there's like half of it left to fill so I would definitely recommend this bag. It's not a good one if you are not a high maintenance kind of person. Like, I don't mind the amount of locks and stuff that it takes to get into it, because I love the bag and I like the security, but if you're looking for something that you can just literally put your hand in, this is not the bag for you. It's so nice though. <laughs> I'll link everything in this video in the down bar if you wanna check anything out. And also let me know in the comments if you're going on holiday this year, I would love to know. This is my first sunny holiday in about three or four years, so I'm so excited. I only ever really go on winter holidays because I love winter so much. I love cold weather, but I just really want a tan and I just want a proper chill out. Make sure you subscribe to my vlog channel to see my vlogs from the trip if I do do them, do do ha, huh? I probably will do them. I'll leave the link in the down bar and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one.